Hey guys. Marianne Little here from Short Sale Mitigation and I'm here with another tip and trick for you to get your short sale successfully negotiated. If you do not know who we are, we are a Massachusetts third party negotiation firm that negotiates in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut, and Maine. Uh, we are also special because we can go into your brokerage and offer CEUs. So if you need a two hour or three hour class in either New Hampshire or Connecticut, we can come in and teach you about short sales. So I encourage anybody listening to this uh, video right now to send this to their broker. Invite us in. We'll bring some uh, snacks and uh, meet you and we'll put on a great class so that you can negotiate your short sales on your own. If you don't want to negotiate your short sales on your own and you're tired of the paperwork, you don't want to collect the homeowner's financials, bank statements, pay stubs, tax returns, W-2s, all that fun stuff, then you can always call us and we will talk to you about negotiating for you. Um, realtors in always keep their commission when they're working with us. And um, yeah, I'm happy to answer any questions. And I ask anybody watching this video right now to hit the subscribe button below because each week I try to put out some helpful tips and tricks for you to understand and know short sales and it will only make you a better agent. So today's um, class, oh, and one more thing in case you don't know, um, I typically do these um, videos on the road. And the reason I do the videos on the road is because um, I am constantly working or teaching. Um, sometimes we record our teachings and we'll put those up uh, sometimes uh, and a lot of the times I'm in the office negotiating or working with homeowners and lenders to avoid foreclosure so it's really difficult for me to have a scheduled time to put out these videos in the office um, so I tend to use most of my time or maximize all of my time and even when I'm driving um, you'll see a lot of these videos so I want to maximize my hustle for real estate and I am going to um, I'm going to put out all kinds of videos and you'll see me driving a lot of the times. Not every time, but most of the time. So today's video is about servicing transfers. What is a servicing transfer? So if you have a short sale and you've submitted it to the servicer, the servicer could be anybody. Chase, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Soteris, SPS, can be any type of lender, DITAC. Um, they may be the servicer of a loan. And a servicing transfer just means um, either A, the the servicer was transferred, so let's say it went from Ditec to Soteris, um, and sometimes you can have a mortgage loan transfer with the actual loan transfer, so somebody else bought the loan, a new investor of the loan. In either of those situations, the homeowner is supposed to be notified 15 days before that happens. I can tell you from experience that doesn't happen. So the 15 day rule or mark that these servicers are supposed to hit never happens and you will be smack dab into the middle of your short sale and you'll get a nice little email or fax or something that the servicing has been transferred to the new um, lender now or the new servicer. The issue that is going to happen in the short sale obviously is, be is the issue of you're going to have to start over. So you're going to lose about 15 days um, before the transfer if you do get the notification and then once the transfer happens it's like another 15 days for the new servicer to kind of get their act together you may not even have a new loan number the homeowner may not have a new loan number they may not know anything about it um, the way for you to get the new loan number is have the homeowner call in and give them the social security number then they can get you the new loan number so what does this do well this is going to derail your short sale for a minimum of at least 30 days um, sometimes longer because when the new servicer gets the file, they usually have to start from soup, soup to nuts. They usually have to review the file from the beginning, which means you fax over all of the same paperwork provided it's up to date, meaning not dated beyond 60 days. And if it's up to date, they will um, review the file. So that could tack on another 30 days. So a short sale that you could have negotiated in 60 days from submission of the packet to approval or maybe 90 days now gets, uh, it's more like 120 
um, or longer because five months or longer because of this servicing transfer. I hate to explain this to you. It's um, kind of a dreaded thing that happens in short sales, but it does happen all the time. And um, I don't want you to be concerned about it because it is common for it to happen. You just have to um, let the buyers know it's going to take additional time and they may not be happy. The seller may not be happy. You wouldn't be happy. But it is part of the process that a servicing transfer happens or a loan transfer happens. So please keep that in mind when you're negotiating your short sale. Um, it can happen without notification or it can happen with the notification, which is supposed to be 15 days. Um, <clears throat> You will still end up with the same result and you can still start the negotiations and hopefully get short sale approval. But if you have any questions on this video or anything that I've done, certainly give me a call or email me. My phone number is 978-384-0032 or uh, Marianne at shortsellmitigation.net. Very easy, M-A-R-Y-A-N-N -N at shortsellmitigation.net. You guys have a great day.